Jensen from an unstorming pilot left San Diego, California on what was supposed to be a cross-country flight with Leo, the MGM Lion. Louise B. Mayer, the founder of Metro Golden Meyer Studios in Hollywood, California, agreed to this publicity stunt, which was supposed to draw attention to the MGM name. The idea was to fly Leo, the MGM Lion, non-stop from LA to New York. The flight was initially scheduled to leave from Los Angeles, but there were difficulties with the Society of the Prevention of Cruelty and to Animals, so Leo was taken to Camp Kearney in San Diego, where they took off at 10.20 a.m. that day. The International News Service reports for September 16, 1927, stated, carrying Leo, 350-pound lion, the transmission flyer, Martin Jensen, got away to a perfect start from the two-mile-long runway. Spectators hearing the subdued roars of the king of the beasts amid the roaring of the motors as the silver hue plane glided in the air. The plane, the Lion B-1, and a very good airplane for that day, had a ride 220 horsepower engine, which was one of the best they had developed. Jensen, however, found the plane handling four leaves right after the drop of the weight of the load. He later stated it was too heavy for climbing. The plane carried 300 gallons of fuel and a glass cage, where, which weighed 400 pounds, and Leo, who weighed about 400 pounds. Jensen and the Lion airplane got across California. But when he reached the Phoenix area, and near the area of the Superstition Mountains, the Ryan lost altitude. He had hoped that by then the use of fuel would lighten the load. Um, however, this was not the case. The Ryan airplane would not climb more than as tall as and he decided to form a crash landing. He knew that the result of an uncontrolled crash usually meant disaster. About five miles from Hell's Gate, when stumbled over some large trees, the crash landing was successful. He only received minor injuries. Leo was shaken, but appeared to be otherwise uninjured. The story of September 19th, 1927, in the Arizona Gazette, reads as follows. Famous flyer, okay, but lion hungry, reports Jensen. Jensen reached the H-Bar -Bar Ranch in Chilson's tiny village in the Upper Bear Creek District of North Roosevelt Park. Jensen was on foot when he reached the ranch, and revealed that his flight companion, Leo, the movie lion, was safe. After the crash, Jensen mistakenly followed some ranch cattle, thinking they were milk cows. Followed them several miles, thinking they were the angel farmhouse. The cowpunchers who went after the lion had a good laugh at this story. After the crash, he walked all day and slept in the trees at night, he said. He arrived three days later, first at the booth ranch. But since there was no phone there, he borrowed a burrow and went to the H Bar ranch at Chelsea, so tiny village in the upper Bear Creek district. There, he, he sent the first word of his and Leo's safety to the outside world. When Leo Cowboys went to rescue the enemy's horse with the earth of miles, the cowboys expecting a mountain lion were very surprised to see a huge enemy in the lion. Leo had, had to be put on a large sled due to his weight, and the mules did not well like the smell of the lion. Several mules were used to haul the sled to a narrow trail with about a dozen cowboys for assistance. During the rescue, the cage slipped and fell, crushing one of the cowboys. The news reports believed he would recover, they stated. It appears that the globe dog catcher believed that lion, uh, Leo would make a valuable new attraction in the town. He tried to exercise his authority to bring Leo to the town of Globe. However, a local judge squashed his idea, stating that Leo and the location where he was rescued was far out of the jurisdiction of the globe. Leo was eventually taken by truck back to MGM Studios when he was filmed for Buster and the Batard. The five seven days were over, and Louis B. Mayer and the studio. You can still see Leo, the official mascot, at the start of each MGM movie. Martin Jensen went on to other flying adventures. Said you can see the steps in the wreckage of the right airplane in the house came in the area near Jason. So, it's the story of Leo 